Hello everyone. In today's episode, I have a video from Rec Capital on the support zone, now resistance zone that BTC needs to recapture in order to continue its bull cycle. This, I believe, is based on the Bitcoin Pi cycle and just Rec Capital zone analysis, which is awesome. I really recommend you you follow him on Twitter and on YouTube. He has some great content. I'm gonna break it down and show you how you can make your own graph for your own self, so you can have it. I did publish a graph and I will share that link with you in the description. Talk about it, let's dive into the video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Like this video if you enjoy content like this going forward and let's dive into it. We're inside this black channel. In fact, we're deviating below it. In fact, we see downside wicks and even in recent times, weekly closes below this black channel. But this orange region is generally created here for those bargain buying opportunities. We'd see downside wicking in the past. Now we're seeing candle closes, but generally this is still that downside deviation region where price tends to find support, where we see liquidity grabbing before price recovers back above the bottom of the channel, which is 59,110. And actually weekly closing above this level would see a reclaim of the bottom of the channel as support. So, so right now this chart is in the weekly uh, phase, you know, right here weekly, just wanted to point that out. So as to enable a move right across the channel. And we've seen so many intra-channel moves here with this downside deviation, there is scope for recovery back above the bottom of this channel. I'm giving this recovery two weeks time for Bitcoin to try and find a way back above 59,110. And at the moment, we are seeing quite a bit of volatility in and around this region. We've seen a great reaction in recent times, but it's really important for price to hold this orange region. And we're actually holding it quite nicely. We, we've got a bit of space above here. And actually maybe zooming in could be a bit better here to show that we are going to be meandering around this level of approximately 55,800. This is the recent weekly lows here that need to be held and we're slightly tilting towards downside, slinking below here. But yesterday we were above there with a bit of space. So we're going to be sinusoidally performing this slinking up, slinking down, we're going to be meandering around this level. So really important for price to close above this level. But generally speaking, why is this channel around this region? Because we can see that this is a red region, this is a green region, and this channel is sitting on top of this green region. And what's that all about? This is generally... The okay, he switched to the monthly view to draw this red and green one. I just like to point that out. And so you have less bars, right? Each bar is one month. And that's how you get to these three. Because when I was drawing my own graph, I, I just didn't know. Um, he's drawing major resistance here at the old, you know, 2022 BTC market top. And he is drawing it in green here as like the support that it needs to break. So psychologically and technically that's a, a point that needs to be retaken the point of rejection from the previous bull market tops which were acting as resistance and now we've seen in recent months especially one two three four five month support so an old point of rejection is acting as a multi-month support here do you guys like the video so far make sure to like and subscribe leave me a comment on what your thoughts are on this breakdown and this analysis. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, but what do you guys think? And we've seen many downside wicks in the process of this retesting of this green region as support. We've seen a very long downside wick last month even, and we're seeing another long downside wick this month. But by the end of August, we need to see price reclaim 59,110, which happens to be the bottom of that channel. We're not too far away from it, but we have almost a full month to reclaim this region as support. We have three weeks or so just about to reclaim this region as support. And there isn't much price movement towards the upside that we need to experience to get back there. It's only around $4,000. So 
it's not impossible to get above here and the monthly close inside or even better above the green region, that would be yet another successful retest for six months in a row, which would be pretty phenomenal to get that monthly close above this region to solidify it as a support. And thus far, we've seen a 29% correction in Bitcoin's price action, and it's already recovered quite a fair amount of that correction. We're currently minus 21%. It was minus 29%. So a bit of recovery has already occurred. And if we look to previous corrections, this is definitely the deepest one in the cycle. Not long ago, we saw 23%, 21%, 22%, 20%, 23%. Even if we move on here, you can see that I missed a correction here. This was 25%. So this was the deepest in the cycle. Notice how, in fact, this was the deepest in the cycle. And then this one became the deepest one in the cycle. And then now this one's the deepest in the cycle. So we're getting progressively deeper and deeper pullbacks in this cycle. So that's really important to know because that's an interesting tendency that's deviating away from what we've seen before in the pre-halving period of 22% corrections, roughly speaking. So we are getting a bit deeper in those corrections. But what we have to mention about this correction is that it took place in a week and a half, less than a week and a half, in fact, whereas previous corrections were 45, 42 days, approximately the 25 percent correction from a little bit earlier on was 42 days long and 49 days where was this 23 percent correction it took two weeks to see this 22 percent correction and 63 days for 22 percent and 20 percent each correction to occur and only three weeks here in early 2023 so the whole point is that we got the deepest correction in the shortest amount of time possible. So it's based by on, on this historical data that we're seeing here, it's likely that the bottom is in on this correction because we've already satisfied the, the, the depth part. This is assuming that we bounce up, right? And so far with everything else in the stock market, the S and P five hundred is massively up in the year, and even though we've trended down, there's still a definitive downward movement yet. We've broken to the downside, so you have to assume it'll keep going down. It'll tend to keep going down, but it has not really confirmed in a meaningful way for people to really know that we're we've reached the top and we're going down. And that still has yet to be confirmed. Um, his assertion here is it with the Bitcoin pie cycle that will continue to go up in this bull cycle that the bottom is in uh, short term that could be the case we don't know like nobody knows what will happen in the next week or month we know that the FOMC meeting is in what 42 days from now in September perhaps that is already priced into the market and it won't affect much it's still just really up in the air at this point of the hist- historical retraces and we've done it in record breaker time record breaking apologies time so those are some really important aspects to note about price and a weekly close above this level here would be a very solid confirmation that this correction has bottomed already so maybe we do rally higher for example let's talk about a potential scenario maybe we do rally in here and reject from here then maybe we'll see another pullback but it will be really important to see how price reacts around this orange region still it would need to hold the bottom of this orange region as a support but really important that this 60,600 region or more specifically 59,110 really important that we don't turn that region into a point of rejection on this upcoming rebound to the upside and at the moment we are short-term dipping and that makes sense before we talk about that next chart of course it makes sense because there is a small potentially insignificant cme gap around here that's around fifty three thousand six hundred and fifty four thousand five hundred there is a small cme gap here it's only two and a half percent away from current prices 
And if we need to fill this CV gap, then it's better to fill it when we're relatively close to it rather than having to rally all the way here and have to then retrace quite significantly to fill this CME gap. Not all CME gaps need to get filled. And I'm not quite sure that we need to fill this one, but it would make, make total sense if we need to dip into this region to fill that CME gap. And once we fill that CME gap, establish some support essentially at these lows right over here before flicking up towards the upside to really try and fill this larger CME gap, which is so much more important. And notice how 59,110 is just below the very beginning of this CME gap right over here. So ideally, we would need to fill the CME gap or at least begin filling the CME gap at 59,415 because doing so would see price reclaim the bottom of, the, of that channel that I mentioned earlier on in the video. You can see right over here that this is 59,110. And of course, given the declining nature of this channel, maybe next week that's going to represent a price point a little bit lower than here. Maybe that's going to be $59,000 for Bitcoin. But the fact remains the same, that we need to simply rally to the CME gap to reclaim all right, I'll stop his uh, analysis right there. What he's saying is that those gaps tend to get filled, right? And that it's likely that we return to the scene of the crime, as Garrett Salaway would put it. It's highly possible that this happens, that we retake the 59 and we have to pierce uh, the 59100 level that he was talking about and then confirm up. So I wanted to show you guys this I have published this on uh, trading view and I'm gonna put the link in the description and it'll just be basically what he drew but this this is really useful to have and you can make your own or you can you know just look at mine and basically what I've done is I use the weekly view to draw these two then the monthly view to draw the two red and green bars but this is a really good graphical description i use trend lines and then parallel channels and i just change the color so not too difficult to replicate it yourself what i i like about having this is if we see the price dip below this golden parallel channel we can maybe at that point brace that the market has really turned negative or if we see it if we see the, the trend line here, you know, was it like, is it 50, right around 59,100, 59,200. It gets a little tough to, to really get into it perfectly, but it, it's right around the same level as him. If we can reclaim the bottom of the green parallel channel and then chop up into it, then we should be in pretty good shape this is a, a good indicator and a good chart to have. I published it and thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to Rock Capital. He puts out a lot of good work and make sure to subscribe to the Crypto 90 channel. Thank you guys.